Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, just wanted to do a video um, with everything that's been going on. Uh, yesterday, two of the Senate seats, I believe, in Georgia uh, were settled. Um, and also the ballots uh, were verified or certified yesterday. So starting this year, uh, January 20th, I believe, we here in the United States will be under a new um, regime or authority, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the Democratic Party will have uh, the presidential, the congressional, and the Senate. I guess I don't know what they call the House or whatever. But so all three major uh, authorities will be Democratic. But here's what I want to do I'm going to just do a quick video I got a ton of uh, other stuff to do videos and stuff on um, some deeper thoughts of where we go and what uh, scriptures we need to cling to um, but I want to assure you something here even if something changes by the 20th that there is no authority according to uh, scripture that is not placed by God um, so the first thing, uh, first scripture, I'm going to give a couple scriptures here. It's not going to be a long video. Uh, Matthew 28, uh, verse 18, and Jesus came up and spoke to them saying, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. It's the beginning of the great commission. And he tells them what to do. But Jesus says, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. All right. So. Then I want to go to 1 Peter chapter 2. It says, this is verse 13. It says, Submit yourselves for the Lord's sake to every human institution, whether to a king as the one in authority, or to governors as sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and the praise of those who do right. And then he goes, For such is the will of God, that by doing right, your, you silence the ignorance of foolish people. Act as free people and do not use your freedom as a covering for evil. It says, but use it as bond servants of God. Honor all people, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. And here's, here's the part you got to listen because I know where the rebuttals come from. I get them all the time. It says, servants, be subject to your masters with all respect, not only to those who are good and gentle, but to those who are harsh. For this finds favor, if for the sake of, the con of conscience towards God, toward God, a person endures grief when he suffers unjustly. And then it says, for what credit is there if you sin and are harshly treated and endure with patience? But if when you do what's right and suffer for it, you patiently endure, this finds favor with God. All right. Romans that was Peter, this first Peter. Um, yeah, first Peter chapter two. This is Romans 13. This is the Apostle Paul. It says, every person is to be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God. And those which exist are established by God. Therefore, whoever resists authority has opposed the ordinance of God, and they who have opposed will receive condemnation upon themselves. A lot of people say that, um, well, I don't have, what if they're mean to us and what if they take away our freedoms and all this other stuff? That doesn't, that doesn't, listen, the only time we don't obey authority is when they say we cannot follow Jesus, we cannot speak about Jesus, or they ask us to renounce our faith. Basically, ask us to renounce our faith is what, what we don't follow. Not shut your church building down. That's not saying you can't be a Christian. It's just saying you can't be in a building. I mean, we've messed some serious things up. And that's why we have this authority coming into place. The whole Old Testament is this. God's people love God, turn to idols, reject God. They go into captivity from evil from, to under mean people to push them back into God's hands. Then they finally repent. He rescues them. They worship other gods and do their own thing. He turns them over to evil people, right? And I'll get into another video at some point. I don't want to take this very, very long. 
So you're saying, well, those scriptures, this, this, that, you know, but hey, you know, I don't know if it's God's will. Well, let me tell you about God's will. This is John chapter 11, ver or chapter 19, verse 11. This is Jesus in front of Pilate. Jesus saying, actually, let me go back to 10. So Pilate said to him, are you not speaking to me? Do you not know that I have authority to release you and I have authority to crucify you? Verse 11, Jesus answered him, you would have no authority over me at all if it had not been given to you from above. And for this reason, the one who handed me over to you has the greater sin. Jesus said, you would have no authority over me at all if it had not been given to you from above. As we've read in uh, 1 Peter, and as we read in Romans 13, all authority is placed by God. And you might say, well, God, I've learned in church, and people have told me God just wants to bless us. And Jeremiah uh, 29, 11 says, I know the plans for you, um, you know, for good and all this. Well, if read Jeremiah 29. Actually, they're going into captivity for 70 years. Captivity. And he says, but don't worry, when, when, when the Democrats are done, I, I'll come back for you. And I'm speaking to believers. Apart from Christ, all bets are off. All bets are off. There is no safety apart from Christ. He is the rock and protection. And when I say safety, I don't mean life is great. The Apostle Paul was in prison. The Apostle Paul was beaten and left for dead outside the city and came back in and preached. The, the Apostle Paul was shipwrecked. Well, that's just Paul. So that last scripture that I read to you in John 19, 11, Jesus said to Pilate that he would have no authority unless it was given to him from heaven, from above. Jesus was then flogged, beaten, punched, taken, mocked, scourged, and crucified, nailed to a cross. Doesn't sound too fun, does it? But that was God's will to redeem mankind. So I'm going to do another video, not today. I'm already at almost at eight minutes. I want to keep these short um, about what I believe, what will help us and what we need to focus. And it's not just me. I've been praying about this um, since last year. And uh, I have a few scriptures I've been writing about. But now as everything is coming together, um, I see it playing out and I believe these scriptures will help. But for today, listen. The power and the people may change, but the authority stays the same. It is from God. doesn't matter who it is. If you want to argue, go back and read your Bible before you start posting on these videos. But what if, what if there is no exceptions? The Bible gives no exceptions. And if the Bible is not true, then it doesn't matter. doesn't matter. So it's not like God, well, this is God, but we want to twist them to believe us. That's not how it goes. You either believe this or you don't. And if you believe this, you obey this. And if you don't obey this, then you don't believe this. Very simple. Okay. Different authority, same authority giver from God. There's a reason for it. All right, guys. Peace out. I hope this helps you a little bit. It's not easy. Believe me, I'm not saying it's great and easy, but it's the truth. It's the biblical truth. All right, guys, peace out.